Hi, I'm Josh Abrams. I am the founder and president of Just Liberty Incorporated, and I'm making this message today to explain what this nonprofit is and what our mission stands to accomplish. We stand here as a nation divided where our citizens feel more disenfranchised and out of hope and divided than ever. We are here to present our ideas for our two main platforms, Just Legal and Just Politics under the Just Liberty nonprofit um, organization. Just Legal is our comprehensive legal flowchart software platform that we aim to release to the public for free. The goal is to help educate and empower citizens who might not be able to afford a traditional attorney representation consultation or might not qualify under traditional legal aid society or existing organizations help the goal is to allow users to talk to this platform which is powered by, by ai which will then guide the user on explaining who they are what happened and what their options are the more you engage and discuss with this platform, the better it can help give you resources to potentially refer you to the Bar Association, legal aid societies, or other appropriate uh, organizations that exist to help you in whatever your situation is. Uh, there are a lot of them out there that are designed to help people, but our platform is designed to help those who fall between the cracks, who might not feel like they are educated or competent enough to represent themselves in court. At every stage through the legal flowchart software, it starts with what happened, it builds the characters, a summary, and then can help you draft arguments, paperwork, and direct you to forms. And like I said previously, to the bar association or uh, to get a consultation or understand your rights. The idea being that once you understand what happened and what your options are, and as, that, as you progress with the flowchart, it moves to the next stage of a complaint or a defense, and at every stage it'll tell you your options, what's likely to happen, what to expect, some of the legal jargon that you should understand. The key point being that this is unbiased and objective, as this is produced by an AI that's guidelines prevent it from being unethical. So it can only guide you towards justice and what's right. And that's very important for those who can't afford it traditionally. Our other platform, Just Politics, stands as a different approach to political engagement and education. From personal experiences, I when I go to vote, I barely understand who to vote for for the president, and then I'm given these complex decisions on state and municipal and other local positions where most people, from after talking to them, usually just vote by political party without even understanding or representing who they're voting for, what the ramifications of their actions are. And I've personally tried to investigate and search for who these candidates are, what it means to vote for them, and all I found is smear campaigns or some sort of propaganda by the individual themselves that essentially just diverts from the point. They, they usually just engage in hostile tactics or defensive tactics, and at the end of the day, I have no idea who they are what they're going to do if they're elected or how anybody's going to oversee if they actually follow through with that as it's been a running joke for what the last hundred years that politicians are crooked and can't be trusted that shouldn't be the case and that's where just politics comes in to solve this problem Again, we use AI and a separate platform to engage with users. They register by putting in their zip code and then they're prompted with some value-based questions. These questions vary based on your local environment, but they will ask you questions like, on a number scale, how important are women's rights or reproductive rights or taxes or you name it. Everybody has an issue that they're passionate about 
and our platform starts by prompting the users to answer these value-based questions so we can better grade and understand what's actually important to you in politics. After answering those questions, the platform will then provide you who your candidates are to select from. It'll show you probably the top Republican and Democrat candidates, obviously for presidential, but then more importantly, it'll explain the nuance of your other state, Senate, and municipal elections that are much harder to decrypt. That will give users a pros and cons list for each candidate, explaining and an individual curated thing by this AI, which the, the goal is to allow users to go through this list and understand who these people are and what the ramifications of voting for them actually mean. Obviously, presidential is its own thing, but I, I'm really focusing on the, the Senate and the municipal and the, and the lower level state positions that people are voting for. Like I said, I personally found that I couldn't get a single piece of unbiased information about those parties, and a platform like this would solve that problem by breaking down who these people are, who they're connected with, what they're running for, and then more importantly, this platform will also track this person so that if you voted for them in the past, it can, next time you're given these options to vote, it'll say, oh, they ran on this, but at the end of the day, they did X, Y, and Z, which wasn't what they promised or goes against what you actually was important to you. And that's the idea is just politics will educate people on their political choices far beyond just the presidential candidates. But we also are a little bit more ambitious here and because of my other experience in the legal realm, I understand that a lot of these changes have to come from lobbying. So that's where we want to introduce a crowdfunding lobbying platform on our Just Politics platform, which will allow communities to fundraise money to create lobbying initiatives that are designed just to complete what the community needs to get done and then lobby for that effectively. I believe that these existing lobbying groups, I'm not too familiar with them, but considering nothing's getting done and everybody's miserable, it looks like we have a need for a platform like this. In addition to what I just discussed, I also think that we can have community forums, uh, maybe implementing some more secure voting mechanisms that might include the blockchain to help keep track of people and what they're doing and make it an immutable record that cannot be tampered with. And lastly, we want to connect a comprehensive tracking mechanism that can track spending uh, and, and other important political metrics um, about what the candidates say, what they run on, and what they actually accomplish or fail to do at the end of their terms. Uh, I believe that we can use existing API, which is essentially public information on government websites that list these financial ins and outs and spreadsheets, which are might as well be in an alien language to the average citizen. Our platform would take all of that and again use AI to decrypt or work with the community to put that in more readable and understandable terms. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to understand where our money goes who's doing what with it and what's left over or what's a deficit or that we didn't spend so that we can more appropriately vote on or understand what we can do with that money or what's important. I think people are getting sick of all of our money going towards new stadiums or, or other things while the inner cities crumble with crime and our public school systems are falling apart, our roads are falling apart, and it seems like all of our budgets uh, for the places that fix the roads, half the time they just artificially increase their budget or keep it the same so that they can keep getting the same budget, essentially sucking our country dry to produce nothing. And so we really have a need for a comprehensive oversight of where our money goes, who's in control of it, and the people that we vote for in these state and other municipal elections are the ones responsible and so we can blame everybody else but that at the end of the day we as citizens 
are responsible for voting for the right person and then keeping those people accountable. And I understand that in our current environment, that's almost impossible to do, which is why this platform is trying to emerge as a solution to that, where we can actually keep track of spending, who said what, who's doing what, with what, and what to do with what's left over or what's still needed. Currently, we're in phase one of our launch of this nonprofit. We recently just got approved for tax exempt status by the IRS, and I'm in the process of launching my website, which is public but hasn't been submitted to Google as I'm still refining based on feedback to make sure that we are properly informing people about what we're trying to do and that's what this video is hoping to accomplish. I'm going to embed it in my website as well. Let me just be clear, these platforms do not exist yet. I have the ability to create these platforms. I've been in the IT field for about 20 years and have built websites, databases, and been system engineers, administration, you name it. I've, if it's a computer, I can do it. And, but my main point is we're in phase one. I just launched this nonprofit. I just got the tax exempt status. I'm in the process of fully launching and refining the website, and once that's complete, I will be applying for federal grants and funding, to which that money will go towards developers and hiring other software developers to help create these platforms and hiring and coordinating with other legal and political professionals to help refine the needs to make sure that they're unbiased and in the pursuit of justice and the common good of humanity. We definitely need people to help volunteer, contribute. We need influencers, people in legal and political spaces to educate and tell people. We need donations. We need awareness. I believe these are real solutions to real modern problems, and this is just the beginning. Uh, I am an innovator. I invent things. Uh, please go on to the rest of my YouTube channel where I have a playlist with about a dozen inventions that I'm just freely giving out concepts that I cannot afford to pursue or investigate and that I think are profound enough to share with the world. Again, this is the beginning. If, if we can start here and take back America and bring it back to the people, restore democracy, to its true and rightful form, we can actually have a future that we can be proud of and a stance and mission that we can all get behind. So please share this with anybody that you know who might be interested in volunteering or contributing or partnering with me uh, or this nonprofit. And to find out more, please visit our website at truejust.org.